You're listening to The Startup with Monique LeRae, only on L.A. Talk Radio. How's it going, Los Angeles? This is The Startup with Monique LeRae. I'm Monique LeRae. Welcome to another wonderful episode of The Startup. This is our year five. We're in our fifth anniversary year. I am so feeling just so excited about it. We're doing our anniversary show in September. I'm coming to you live from Laguna Beach, um, actually at a different uh, location today. The Wi-Fi is fantastic at this location, and it's just a beautiful spring day. I want to give a shout out to our sponsors and everybody that supports the channel. Dr. Jess, Michael Silver, Family Wine, Next Level Generation, Next Level Solutions, Global Solutions, um, and just everybody who watches and tunes in, Bacaletta Studios. Thank you again, everybody that is a listener supporter of the channel. If you guys aren't following us on social media, go ahead and like us, follow us on Instagram, Twitter X, Facebook, um, at the startup with Monique Loray. It's spelled just like this. <laughs> um, I hope you guys missed me a little. It's been three weeks since I've been live. I'm getting those seasonal allergies, so bear with me today. But I'm really excited. We have some, some amazing guests today. It's gonna be a shorter show um, as we ramp back up and get in the swing of things. Uh, the spring season here on the startup just want to say thank you to our sponsors uh for oscars week we had a great great time um you know it's really just sometimes just seeing an entrepreneur put it together so fast um, and really showing up for what they want to do gives me you know more energy to finish doing things i'm doing i'm speaking of kisham Durardi. kisham um he wrote a script called the magnificent warrior and within 48 hours, he flew out from New York, came out for Oscars week and was able to put it together. So um, shout out to Hisham. I'm really proud of him. And um, hopefully you'll see his, his script out there soon. I mean, you've got to just take bold, massive action sometime. And that's just exactly what he did. All right. So uh, what do we want to cover for spring? Now, we've got a couple of things coming up. Um, as a lot of you know, I'm still working on my MBA. So I've been swamped with that. The Pandemic Project documentary is finally going to be available for streaming. Uh, all right. And we've got someone here today. Let's get with our first guest, Davis Cole. Davis, hello. Hey. The startup. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for taking your time out. I want everybody to know who you are. So why don't you introduce yourself and tell us about your brand? All right, cool. Uh, hello, I'm Davis, uh, Custom King. I'm located out of Kentucky. I basically paint shoes, uh, do designs for people. Fabulous. Davis, thank you so much for sh uh, sharing some of your weekend with us. I was impressed by your work. I want to just tell people a little bit about your background and what you do. I mean, listen, I, I met um, Davis's father through a friend and he started just bragging about you in the best way. He was so proud of what you've achieved in such a small amount of time. And it seemed like it was a passion project. Can you tell us exactly what you do and how did you start? Yeah, absolutely. So, so to start off with, it definitely was kind of just a passion project. I was having fun with it. Um, so I kind of just started, I like drew on some shoes. That was the first one I ever did was like Space Jam. So that kind of just interested me. Um, but right now I got into the golf market and I've been making a lot of master shoes. So impressive. And, you know, it's really encouraging at seeing you as a young man, a young entrepreneur. You're, you're not even 19 yet, right? Not even 18 yet. Uh, I'm 17. Yeah. 17, you guys. This young man is starting off young. You're giving me energy, Davis. I'm like, what yeah. am I waiting for? <laughs> you know, and I'm old now, but <laughs> it's great because... You, you've started painting these shoes and it doesn't it doesn't seem like it's a job for you, right? You just really enjoyed it. And then yeah. you said you had an outgoing friend that kind of spread the word. Tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, to begin with, I was just making uh, pairs for my friends for free. Um, but one of my one of my friends, he's kind of like outgoing. He talks a lot. So he was <laughs> he was wearing my slides that had a Simpson design on it. So Bart Simpson like sprain. It's on my Instagram. Yeah. But he, he wore them to the barber shop and everybody was kind of asking me about them. My barber got a pair from me, um, but it was great. Yeah, so that that, came, that got me a lot of orders was just from him, so. <laughs> That's great. We call, you know, word of mouth is always great yeah. because people can feel the energy and the excitement about the brand. And yeah. he personally knows you. So people felt that energy. He, you should make him right. your agent, maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I made him for a gift. I knew that he was gonna talk about him, so. Very smart marketing on your on your part, Davis. Do you, do you were you um, 
ever interested in getting into business when you were younger? I know you said you're 17 now. Yeah. Were you always kind of an entrepreneur, creative type, or did you just yeah. begin that? Yeah, I have. Um, my dad's always wanted me to do like law, but he's always pushed for me to be like entrepreneurship and everything. Um, I don't know. I like art a lot, and so I, I was just really just having fun with it before, um, and turned it into a little brand that is going on. So nice, nice. All right. So I, I know that this is a um, this is a senior year for you, I believe. Yeah. Uh, junior year, junior year. June, oh, excuse me. I don't mean to rush you, Davis. You no, still have fine. to do your prom, darling. <laughs> <laughs> you still have to have fun. Um, yeah. But when you do go to the next level and get ready for college, where are you thinking you'll go and what are you thinking you'll study? Yeah. Um, so I want to go into pre-law. That's actually uh, me and my friend. We just took a trip up to Boston um, and we visited uh, Lowell and Suffolk um, downtown. Uh, we met up. We got... Uh, we got lucky and uh, Aria Trattoria messaged us uh, for a pair of shoes. That's like where all the Celtics guys go. Uh, like yeah. Paul Pierce and Jay, Jay Holiday were there. Uh, we went nice. to the game. So he was there right after the game. We got to got to see him. And we're on his Instagram. We took a picture with him. We got okay. a, We were getting a lot of clout Boston from that. <laughs> Love that. you got to get that content, right? That exclusive yeah. content. And <laughs> sounds like two birds with one stone. You went looking yeah. for schools and you found some great content. So. Yeah, I love I love the Northeast for college. You do? So you're looking in that way. Because I was going to say, we love, we'd love to have you here in California. Yeah, I might have to look over there. Okay. Well, don't count us out, Dave. She might like to surf here if you surf. I don't know. <laughs> Very good. So why don't you give us your handle? And where can people order the shoes or what's your next step for, you know, are you ready to, are you getting ready to launch something soon? Yeah, I am. Um, so my handle is custom King on Instagram. Uh, you should be able to find me. It's a, like a green and, and gold logo. Yeah. Um, but I'm launching my website in the next week. I've been telling people special uh, exclusive. Okay. Yeah. I've been, I've been working with a guy, uh, Christopher O'Beats out of uh, Florida. Um, he's got a big golf portfolio and he's been helping me build my website. It's so. smart. Very smart. Well, it sounds like you are finding your way. You're having fun and smiling, doing it. Every time I speak to you, you look like you're just having a blast. Yeah, thank you. I think that you found the right balance, Davis, of having fun, being young, but yeah. also being conscious about your career. And I really love it for you. What advice would you give any young entrepreneur out there uh, if they have an idea? I would say uh, just do something that you like and, um, you know, just don't like give up. Just keep going and kind of just you don't want to like make money the first time that you try something uh, like my first couple of pairs were for free and just to give to friends and, and make sure I get good at it. before. Smart, get smart good. piece of advice there. So you're saying don't chase the dollar, yeah. chase the dream, test, test your market out with your friends and family and mm -hmm. go from there. Yeah, that's what I did. So. Very smart. And now let's, we can't let you go yet. We're going to let you go in a minute okay. and a half here, Davis, because oh, we yeah. have to, well, we got to brag about your, your exposure that you've already gotten for your awesome. brand. In case people don't know, Davis got picked up and he got, as, as we shared with the, about his friend, uh, he got some traction in the golf world. Tell us more about that. I really want you to share it with people who aren't familiar with the golf world, maybe. Yeah, so my Instagram took off last year whenever Golf Digest, uh, they messaged me and asked if they could post my shoes on their site. Um, so that was great. And I've been I've been trying to work with them for this Masters. Uh, Christopher, uh, the guy who's helped me build my website, um, I'm meeting up with him there. Uh, he has a big Golf Digest partnership, and um, I'm supposed to be uh, meeting with some of those guys and getting something official going for that. Um, but they have posted me on their site and uh, I've messaged one of their guys over there. And so hopefully we can get it again this year for the Masters. Because you went viral for a minute, didn't you? Yeah, After I did. Just a little bit. I was. They posted me right at the perfect time. Wow. I think 400,000 likes or something. It was a lot. <laughs> so I'm so, so I'm so happy for you, Davis. This is, you know, this is the dream. This is the dream. You, you're really doing it. Just keep going. Have keep having fun. And you know what? I'm sure we're gonna see you on the Forbes before 40, 30 before 30 <laughs> list in your future. I know that. I feel that oh. in my bones. And um, thank you for making time on your weekend. And happy St. Patrick's. I know you're not old enough to yeah. drink. So have a green smoothie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's. Give your handle one more time, Davis. Uh, so Custom King 
on Instagram. Uh, that's primarily where I'm at if you want to get, but website's coming soon. And thank you. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I appreciate it a lot. You're so welcome. And I would love for you to check in with us a little later this year so we can see where you're going. Spell okay. that handle for us in case you're spelling it different. Uh, oh, sorry. So K-U-S-T-O-M-K-I-N-G. Uh, so it's Custom King with a K. Beautiful. All yeah. right. See you soon, Davis. Keep okay. winning, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear. All right, you guys. That's Davis Cole, Custom King. Listen, that, that, that young man is so talented. I'm really excited to see where he goes. We'll be following your career, Davis. And um, I would love to introduce my next guest, Miss Brenda Achuleta. Brenda, how's it going? Hi, Monique. It's great. How are you doing? I'm doing well, girlfriend. I'm weathering these seasonal allergies, but happy St. Patrick's Day. And Brenda's logo and um, design has a little natural green in it. You know, you go to the forest yeah. for it. I so do. why don't you introduce yourself and tell us about your brand? So my name is Brenda Archuleta, and I am coming in from um, Santa Fe, New Mexico, um, originally from Taos, New Mexico. And my company is called um, Brenda's Botanicals Taos. And I make all um, natural, traditional um, body care products made specifically from different parts of the pinon tree. And for viewers that um, are not familiar with um, the trees of the Southwest, the uh, pinon tree is our state tree and it is native to New Mexico as well as the Southwest, Colorado, Utah, Arizona. Um, yes. And so it is a it is a type of a conifer. It's not like a big pine tree that uh, like a blue spruce or um, a Douglas fir that you'd find like in the northwest. Um, but it is a conifer, and it does produce needles. It does produce a nut, which are, most people are familiar with. Um, but it also has a lot of medicinal properties, and these are old traditional remedies that have been made and used in northern New Mexico for hundreds and hundreds of years, probably longer. Um, indigenous traditions passed down um, to the Spaniards that came into New Mexico, the first colonizers, and then as, as you know, hundreds of years passed, it just, you know, evolved. Um, and so that is my tradition. That's my background. I um, have um, blood from both sides. Um, and so I have decided to um, continue these traditions so that they are out in the world and so that people can um, uh, be aware of, you know, the healing properties. And um, yeah, it's been a really fun journey. And yes, so yes. And, you know, I, I really fell in love with your brand because of the packaging and it felt really um, holistic, like you, you mentioned and you educated me. I mean, I, I felt, you know, I've only driven through New Mexico once I've shared with you offline and I felt it very magical there. I didn't have a lot of time to spend, but let's go full screen. Sam, why don't, um, let's go full screen. And Brenda, why don't you tell us about you going in the, in the forest and really just getting in one with, with nature and how you cultivate and harvest the, okay. uh, the product. Okay. I, hi. <laughs> so anyways, um, so obviously I don't have a tree in my house, but I have parts of the tree that I um, have brought with me so I can share on camera. So this is, um, where's my camera there? So this is a branch from the pinon tree. Um, and I also have um, fresh sap that I collect from, from the trees as well. So um, I make um, specifically um, a sap, a pinon sap, sap, sap. Um, in Spanish, we call the sap um, trementina. And um, I make uh, body oil specifically from the needles of the tree. And the um, pinon mist that Monique is talking about, this is made from distilled um, pine needles, a pure essential oil made from the distillation process of, of the pinon needles. So I go up into the forest. Um, so here in Northern New Mexico, we're at about 7,000 feet in Santa Fe. Um, I'm originally from Taos, which is where I started my business, which is about um, 7,500 feet, 7,000 feet. Um, I hike into the mountains at, um, you know, probably about 9,000 feet or so. Um, and I collect the sap from the trees and I collect um, the needles from the trees. Um, like I said, the sap is what goes into 
um, my salves, uh, my lip balms, and now incense, pure resin incense, and the needles go into, um, into my oils. So when I'm harvesting the sap from the trees, so it's a, it's a, a process basically. It's my, I consider it my, my meditation and my prayer full time when I'm in the forest um, harvesting um, from the trees. Um, and um, so when I'm harvesting my sap, of course, I'm looking for, um, so basically the sap from the tree, I'll just explain a little bit of what that is. So when the tree has an injury, it, um, just like any other tree, um, it produces um, fresh sap. And that's basically like the blood of the tree. And that's the medicine that is healing the tree. But that's also the medicine that I use in my products because um, the healing properties of, uh, you know, for the tree are beneficial to humans as well. Um, the sap is antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal. And so, of course, we can use all those properties into something that's going to help, um, you know, the, the skin basically is what the sap is good for. Um, so I collect my sap in my little bowl. I crush it in my little mortar and pestle. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and uh, then I infuse it into an oil and into the salve. And the salve is good for any kind of skin ailments, bug bites, burns, bee stings, psoriasis, eczema, cuts, infections, dry chapped skin, chapped lips, windburn, sunburn, arthritis, anything like that. Um, my oil that I make for my needles, and this has become something that's really special. So I'll collect little branches and I peel every single needle off these branches and I grind them and then I infuse them into an oil that'll sit for um, a few weeks. And uh, the needles have a lot of antioxidants and vitamin C, so very nourishing to the skin, but also natural analgesic. So um, um, this is actually the only thing I use on my face as a facial oil, but um, I'm also a licensed massage therapist. I've been um, working in the healing arts for about 17 years, which is how I segued into what I'm doing. Um, so the needles have a lot of analgesic properties, so it's really good for pain, sore fatigue muscles, calming to the nervous system, anything like that. And so when we do the processing of um, steam distillation from um, harvest, harvested needles and make an essential oil, that's um, like the purest form of essence that you can get from the plant itself. So. Um, my pinion body mist is um, great for, um, you can use it as a room spray, but you can also use it as a toner for the face, um, as a meditative tool, um, calming again to the nervous system. And um, so I, I had the uh, pleasure of meeting Monique in person. So she was able to try my products in person um, at a uh, gifting suite for the Emmys in Los Angeles that my nephew Rowan and I traveled to. And so it was just fun to be able to showcase my products in, in, um, in a place that people would not normally um, have access to, you know, this natural medicine. So, yeah. That, thank you so much for, sorry to cut you off there, Brendan. Thank you so much okay. for, okay. for breaking that down for us because I really wanted people to understand just how special, you know, the town you're from is less than, 10,000 people, 8,000 people. And you really take your time to go in, like you said, and meditate and bless the the uh, products and really um, care about what's going into it. And I, I think that there's something special about that. Now, I had the pleasure of bringing that spray and that lip balm with me on a trip to North Africa recently for the Endemic Project. And I got to tell you guys, I was tired, jet lagged, and I would spray it on my face and it just woke me right up. It felt completely uh, natural. It didn't feel heavy. It was light on my skin. And I, the lip balm was a saving grace. When you're traveling, you get dehydrated. Where can people order and, and support your brand, Brenda? So um, I do have a website, um, Brenda's Botanicals, um, with an S, um, Taos. Uh, T is in Tom, A is in Apple, O is in Oscar, S is in Sam. Most people don't know how to spell Taos, so I've got Taos, like the car, <laughs> like the cars out here. <laughs> there, is, there, is a, there is a car named Taos well, now. Thank you for sharing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, 
brendasbotanicalstaus.com. And I'm also, you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. Um, so yeah, I haven't gone, I've, I haven't gone the, the route of TikTok yet. Well, you're still growing. I love your story. We will be back with Brenda later this year to check on your growth. And Brenda, you and I have an interview for another project and we'll, t we'll reveal that later. But um, thank you for spending part of your weekend with us and continue success and have a good St. Patrick's if you celebrate. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Monique. I thank um, appreciate you um, bringing these on, bringing me on and um, allowing me to share my product with the world. And I'm glad that you're enjoying it. My absolute pleasure, Brenda. Thank you so much. All right, you guys. Um, it's a shorter show today. Sam, I think we're going to cut it here. Um, the allergies have just got the best of me today, guys. But I wanted to come on and share these two entrepreneurs with you and show my face. This is a check-in segment show today. After being on reruns for three weeks, I was promising myself this year to not do so many reruns and really give you fresh content, fresh producers, fresh entrepreneurs every week but of course with the travels and life um we're we've got three reruns this year already so we're going to try to cut that down if, as, like i said this is our fifth anniversary year thank you for your support what will you start up today i will see you guys next week be well be safe and see you soon you're listening to the startup with monique laray only on la talk radio